All right, uh, I think I got this going. Been a while since I made a video. Uh, out here in my yard, got my uh, Fisker's real mower. It's uh, not your uh, grandma's lawnmower, but uh, your grandpa's lawnmower, whatever, whatever you had to mow lawn for. Uh, this is my Fisker's real mower. I got it a couple months ago. My Uncle Mark, he made fun of me. He's like, yeah, you're living over there in Hippie Valley. You've turned into one of them goddamn hippies. And I'm like, what the hell? He's like, you gotta have gasoline in your lawnmower. This is America. That's what your brother went over to Afghanistan to fight for. That's what they went to, Af to Iraq and fought for. They fought for, they fought for gasoline for your lawnmower. Whatever. But I love this lawnmower. It's pretty sweet. If you do any research or videos on uh, how to keep your lawnmower, how to keep your lawn growing fresh, you'll just keep on coming back to a real mower. That's how they mow greens and how they mow golf courses. The theory behind it is. It, it's not really a theory, it's the practical use behind it is that a uh, real mower cuts like scissors it's two scissors coming apart like that for all you die makers out there it's die going up and down spinning this way shredding, you know, we've all worked with shredders and stuff like that uh, with uh, a normal lawnmower it's just spinning the blades really fast and it's just whipping it and you're not getting that good solid cut edge Here's my lawn. It's not really that long. I've been doing a really good job taking care of it. But you see the edges of the grass. They're not a dull edge. They're all still sharp. So I got her set at about two inches. Yada yada. I got a bag for it. Set it up and get some photos going. Let's see if we can get this going. That ain't gonna work there. Move the camera around, we'll get some photos. Hopefully we can get it going. Long spot, long spot. So we got the perimeter of the yard mode here. I'll just go through it. So I mode my perimeter, and now I'm gonna do straight lines going this way. Last time I mowed my lawn, I went this way, so I'm going this way this time. Next time I'll hatch, going sideways, diagonally. But we got a perimeter mode. Move the camera around, see if we can get some good photos here going this way. This is, I, it's good lawnmower. I really enjoy it. Works pretty good. I love it. Call me old fashioned. So here we go. I got my end mow marked. I'm going to follow her down. That ain't working. Let me just see if we can get this up here. How about up here? On my hand. What's more stable?
right, there's that. I'll set it up on the fence post here, and we'll see. I don't know what I got here. I'm horrible. Hopefully I can edit this stuff to make it work. Hopefully. Oh, hey, there goes that hipster guy I was making fun of the other day. There he goes on his bike. All right. Oh, trees there. You can't see me mow. My Hillary for prison sign. Look at that. All right, so you can see it's mowing pretty well. I really enjoy it. Oh, my bag's full. It's got a bagger on it, so I'm gonna empty this, and then I think I can show you the compost thing in the back. We can make a couple videos out of this if I learn how to edit. How about that? So. All right, here's the uh, compost tumbler. Bought it. Been having it go over for a while. Got it running really good. Been putting yard waste. Tessa threw weeds in there she cleaned all this out no longer has all the weeds and stuff in it but what tessa failed to do was turn it she might have i might not be paying attention so we got a lot of green in there this is more green big thing about composting is you have to keep your uh, greens and your browns a little bit even you need more brown than you need green but it's easier for human beings to produce greens and it is browns so browns being carbons uh greens being grass lawn clippings anything pretty much green that's full of nitrogen so uh we're producing a lot of greens we and this we can put in wood chips i get a lot of wood chips i get uh shred all that stupid junk mail that we get i put that in here give her a tumble and maybe we can prove that tessa did not did not stir this last night when she put stuff in there. We're not calling her out or nothing, but uh, come on. Hey, mate, look at this, look at this. There's a maze right here following me. She's following me. I gotta throw this out there because it's funny. She didn't eat no pot cookie. And she's always still goofy. Ha 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 ha. What a goofer. Don't feed the dogs pot cookies. God. I feel bad when May like busted my monster energy drinks so, so 
accidents do happen, but don't leave your pot cookies out. I'm not even a stoner. Yeah, in, uh, in Tess's defense, this thing is kind of intimidating. But, uh, I have to be thrown under the bus right now. But you can tell that she didn't stir it up last night. You can see how the inside's all different. It, uh, really does a good job mixing. That stuff stuck in the corners. I don't know. The, uh, machine, the compost tumbler, the Mantis, the company I purchased this from, offers a, uh, a moisture control temperature and a thermometer to set this get this thing going right I probably need to purchase both those times are tough I'm probably gonna purchase one of these days but I got mine sitting right here on the, on the west side of the garage and right now it gets the strong afternoon Sun so I mean this thing gets pretty hot in the afternoon and with the fresh grass that I'm gonna put in there looks like John over here he's probably gonna be mowing his lawn this weekend too Get some John clippings. We'll make it work, but uh, it's not that hard to tumble. I don't know why I'm breathing heavily. Camera shy, but uh, see you guys. <laughs>